In this video, we're going to talk a bit about adjusting the Z or depth parameter for our edit curves to achieve three-dimensional cross-sections in OpenVSP. So in this stack geometry that we have, we're going to come to our cross-section and open the curve editor. And now we can come in and take a look at some of these control points. So if we pick this coordinate here at u equals 0.5 on the left side of this cross-section, we can start to play around with the Z parameter. So let's call it, say, 0.2 and notice that it starts to give it a little bit of extra depth. Now, because we've only manually adjusted the z-coordinate here for this point, it didn't adjust any of the tangencies to the other sides. However, if we come to a left view and take a look at this, you can see that we can drag it around and the control points will adjust with it. So if we want to make that maybe a bit straighter, we can do something like this and get more of a rounded profile through that. Now it's important to note that with the addition of this z-coordinate where you can create three-dimensional cross-sections, there are lots of different applications that you would maybe envision for this, like making fillets and blends, making custom uh, highlights for engines, doing some uh, additional depth with ducting, and, and making some really interesting features for your aircraft or your vehicles. Um, but unless you're just playing around and trying to get a feel for it, make sure that you're using this with caution. Um, if there are other ways to achieve what you're trying to get, say by using skinning or something else, we really encourage you to try that method first before you try and leverage three-dimensional cross-sections. So this is a really advanced feature of OpenVSP and you should only really be using it if you absolutely have to. Um, on that note, we'll take a look at some of the other behaviors associated with this. So notice that because we have a left view, we can view things and easily get to these cross sections, but on the top and bottom, those extra control points are on top of each other. We switch to a top view, now we can get a hold of those. It's a little bit easier. And you can see how we're making this kind of weird looking shape. Now there's a behavior that I want to demonstrate before we close out the tutorial. And it's what happens when you select one of these and you turn on your G1 continuity because let's say you still want a nice smooth continuous slope as you pass through this point. Well, that's all well and good. So let's go to our front view and notice that we can adjust this and G1 continuity behaves exactly as we expect it to. Okay, no problem there. Let's go back to our left view and we're gonna grab this point again. Now notice that it's taking a little bit of time to update now. We've got G1 continuity, but it's G1 in X, Y, and Z now. So you're dragging this in a planar fashion, but OpenVSP is trying to solve that three-dimensional slope and set the, the continuity to be the same. So you can see that it is still, in fact, smooth, but if we come to our front view again, this has shifted around some. So those are some of the behaviors that you need to watch out for when you're dealing with three-dimensional cross-sections and specifically continuity when it comes to three-dimensional cross-sections. You can go in and you can manually adjust the Z-coordinate and the coordinates of its uh, associated control points and tangencies and strength if you want. You can click and drag in the left or the top view to try and adjust these things manually. And again, uh, please remember, use this with a bit of caution. And uh, if there are other ways that you can accomplish without using a depth coordinate or a, a three-dimensional cross-section, please give that a try. Um, but it's here if you feel like you really need it.